out there. It's unfolded. It's giving us new glimpses oh, yeah. of the universe. We'll take uh, more pictures with a Hubble telescope and other. Bring us based on the on the the James Webb. That everything that we know. The James Webb Space Telescope may be capturing the cosmos in stunning detail, but NASA's next big star, the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, is about to take center stage. It's not just another telescope, it's a cosmic game-changer that promises to answer some of the universe's most profound questions. In this video, we will unveil the remarkable features and advantages of this lesser-known telescope, which promises to offer an even more remarkable view of the cosmos. First things first, who is Nancy Grace Roman and why does this telescope bear her name? Nancy Grace Roman was NASA's first chief astronomer and a pioneering force in space astronomy. She laid the groundwork for space telescopes, including the Hubble, which has been sending breathtaking images of the cosmos for decades. Now this telescope is her legacy, and it's set to continue the tradition of pushing the boundaries of space exploration. But what makes the Roman Space Telescope so special? One of the most exciting aspects of this mission is its quest to unravel the enigma of dark matter. Dark matter is one of the most mysterious substances in the universe, making up about 85% of the total matter in the cosmos. But here's the catch, we can't see it. It doesn't emit, absorb or reflect light, making it invisible. This telescope will conduct a survey called the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope Galactic Plane Survey, or Roman GPS, and it's like a cosmic treasure hunt. It will map the distribution of dark matter by observing its gravitational influence on visible matter, and in doing so, we'll paint a more complete picture of the universe. Now here's where things get even more exciting. Well, it's a NASA-led mission, the European Space Agency, ESA, is hopping on board. ESA is contributing its technological prowess and expertise to the mission. In return, they are getting access to a treasure trove of data that will revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos. Marco Siriani, ESA's Science Operations Development Manager, is thrilled about the partnership. He said it's all about a more panoramic view of the universe and allowing more statistical studies. In other words, this is a cosmic dream team collaboration that will give us more data, more insights and more understanding of the universe. So what will make the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope better than the James Webb? Well, it's not a competition. It's a collaboration. Well, the James Webb Space Telescope is primarily focused on observing the universe in the infrared spectrum. The Roman Space Telescope will be surveying a broader range of the spectrum. It will peer into the universe in visible, near-infrared, and some of the infrared bands, which means it can capture a wide range of data that can help answer different questions about the cosmos. Scheduled to launch by 2027 at the latest, the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope will usher in a new age for astronomy. It will be a trailblazer, gathering more data than any previous NASA mission. Imagine the breathtaking cosmic images, the mind-boggling discoveries, and the answers to questions that have perplexed astronomers for generations. This telescope is not just about pretty pictures, it's about expanding our understanding of the universe. It's about deciphering the secrets of dark matter, charting the cosmos, and providing us with a deeper understanding of our place in the vastness of space. Hubble and Webb have wowed us with their ability to zoom in and capture jaw-dropping images of distant galaxies and nebulae. But the Roman Space Telescope is taking a different approach. It's like the wide-angle lens of the cosmos. While Hubble and Webb focus on tiny portions of the sky in intricate detail, Roman will have a much broader field of view. Roman can capture infrared images that are a whopping 200 times larger than Hubble, and it does this with a similarly sized 2.4 meter diameter mirror. So, while it can produce those exquisite images we've come to love, it's primarily designed for surveys. Marco Siriani, ESA's Science Operations Development Manager, explains it best. 
In order to look for the star population in a nearby galaxy, which is very large for the field of view of Hubble, we have to stitch and do mosaics of very different shots. With Roman, we can take a picture of the full galaxy in one single shot. To put it into perspective, consider a recent mosaic of our neighbor galaxy Andromeda. Hubble needed 400 individual images to create it. Roman, just two images. It's like the difference between using a magnifying glass and a wide-angle lens. The field of view is vast, and the data collected is mind-boggling. Siriani continues, Just to give you an idea, in 30 years of Hubble operating, we have gathered something like 170 terabytes of data. For Webb, we expect in 5 years to have 1,000 terabytes. And for the 5 years nominal life for Roman, we expect to have 20,000 terabytes. This isn't just about data quantity, it's about data quality. Roman is on a mission to gather information on billions of galaxies, and with this vast amount of data, it's going to create a 3D model of the universe. One of the most ambitious goals is to put Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity to the test. Now, Einstein's theory is rock solid within the scale of our solar system, but it becomes a bit shakier when we look at larger cosmic scales. Here's where Roman steps in. According to Einstein's theory, the visible matter within the universe should slow down the expansion of the cosmos. But here's the twist. It doesn't. The universe is expanding at an accelerating rate, and this is where things get mysterious. Scientists attribute this accelerated expansion to a cosmic enigma, dark energy. The Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope is designed to give us an unprecedented amount of data. It will accurately measure the position and distance of millions of galaxies across the universe. With this treasure trove of information, we can map the expansion rate of the universe in different regions. So, what does this mean? It means that we'll have the data to determine if Einstein's theory of gravity needs some modification. If it turns out that dark energy is indeed responsible for the accelerated cosmic expansion, we will have made a groundbreaking discovery. Imagine having the power to spot thousands of new exoplanets within our galaxy. Well, that's precisely what the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope aims to do. And it's not science fiction. It's science fact. It will use a technique called gravitational microlensing to make this happen. Marco Siriani, ESA's Science Operations Development Manager, explains this technique beautifully. If two stars align to each other, the one in the front will distort and magnify the light of the star behind. And if the star in the foreground has a planet, we will see the impact of that planet on the light of the star behind it. Given that Roman will count billions of stars, it's going to provide us with a very good census of how many stars have exoplanets. It's like counting the stars and discovering their hidden planetary companions. But Roman doesn't stop at spotting exoplanets. It aims to directly image them. How? With a cutting-edge instrument called a coronagraph. Now, this is where things get technologically mind-blowing. The coronagraph on Roman will attempt to capture images of exoplanets that are close to their parent stars. Siriani explains the challenge. This is a very difficult technique because the starlight has to be suppressed. It is orders of magnitude brighter than the objects that you want to study, the nearby planets. But Roman is up to the task. It will conduct live corrections to improve image quality, and if successful, this technology will be used on future space observatories to directly image Earth-like planets in the habitable zone of their parent stars. Now let's talk about the ESA's contribution to this cosmic adventure. The European Space Agency is playing a crucial role in the Roman mission, and it's a partnership that promises exciting results. ESA is providing three key pieces of technology to the mission, and in return, they get a front row seat at the cosmic table. First, they're offering star trackers, small telescopes that constantly determine the spacecraft's position in the sky by tracking stars. Second, they're supplying batteries to power the spacecraft before its solar panels are deployed. And last but not least, 
they're providing detectors for the coronagraph aboard. But that's not all. ESA is launching its own mission this summer, the Euclid Space Telescope, which will measure the expansion of the universe and reveal more about dark energy. The data from Euclid will complement the data gathered by Roman, creating a cosmic synergy that will deepen our understanding of the cosmos. As we stand on the brink of these astronomical discoveries, let's look to the future with awe and wonder. The universe is vast, mysterious, and full of surprises, and the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope is our guiding light. If you found this cosmic journey as captivating as we did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more.